let us explore the uh, files accessing the files and the connect connection to the database okay uh, today we are going to discuss only these three programs okay I'm, I'm going to cover the visualizations and all in the tomorrow session okay so today will be going to be a short session okay yesterday even i was engaged with uh, unexpected stuff and also a couple of people have sent me an emails that they were unable to attend the yesterday session and hence i thought of cancelling it rather okay so coming to the files how do we read the files in the art programming language see before we and we are going to use the files we should know that where that file is located and also we need we need to set the directory from where that we need to use the directory as a source of all the files where we are accessing through the using our programming language so print of get what working directory see initially earlier it is bhanu documents where i just wanted to set the working directory with the set working directory function okay now it is e train or train so and you get working directory should show me e or train okay and how i am going to read the csv file i have something called input.csv file okay where i just want to print the data within that the function that i am going to use the use to read the csv file is read.csv file okay hmm? so here you can take a look at id name salary start date department and all stuff many things are there here hmm? so you can always analyze the csv file okay is is it in the data frame format straight out yes true hmm? how many number of columns and how many number of rows five columns and eight rows get the maximum salary max of data dollar salary hmm? print of salary 843 okay and also i just want to create a data frame out of this generally we create a data frame by reading the csv file itself and a max of data salary we have already seen okay and now i just wanted to get the data where the person details where the salary is equal to the max salary subset of data data is none other than the content which is there in the read.csv file okay now this is how it is looking like and now <clears throat> read.csv file input.csv hmm? where the department is equal to it <clears throat> okay where the department is equal to it and here i just want to write something into the csv file okay so our data is equal to read.csv um now retrieving the values which is as of date some particular data you can take a look at this one here as per the data hmm? so now i just want to write something to the output.csv file which is a new csv file okay and uh, that data is none other than right dot csv file see uh, the data is none other than the one which is there inside the variable called retval okay so print off new data and that is the same data which we are writing into that file See, take a look at this one the new file which is called as output.csv file contains the same data hmm? okay
And now create a data frame. Creating a data frame data read.csv, which is in put.csv file. Subset of data as of start date, which is greater than the date Jan 1st, 2014. Okay, and writing the data which is already there in this one. Same thing. So we are filtering the data which is greater than Jan 1st, 2014, and we are writing the same back to the output.csv file and we are printing the same. Okay. That's it. So this is how that we can work on with this files. Are you all good with this one? Or do you have any questions in this program? Okay, uh, Dinesh is asking how row dot names is equal to false works. See, row dot names, if you are going to make it true, you are going to get something like this. When you are writing it into a CSV file, it will take into an output.csv file. Okay. If I say true, those X values will also be written into the new file. Dinesh. Are you good? Yeah. Any other questions? No, input.csv it is already existing, Sunil. Output.csv file is the one which we have created. It's not from the data source already. We have read the data from the input.csv and we have loaded the data into a variable. Okay. And we are using the data which is stored in the variable into a output.csv file. We have written the same data which is holding that particular variable into output.csv file. Okay. Ex exactly. So it's all in the memory operation so far. Definitely. Why? Because we are holding the data into the variable. But now, whenever we say write into the output.csv file, then it is going to store into the host storage. Okay. See, row dot names, nothing uh, here. You can observe when I say that. You can see that I am trying to print the new data, which is read.csv file, right? Here, you see that the row data where it is not writing out the row, if, if the row names is false. You can see if the row names is not false, it is going to write something like this X3458. If the row names is equal to false, then it is not writing the extra one particular call. Did you understand? Yeah, this is what. Hmm? Any more questions? That's it. So now let me just go to the Excel file. See, Excel file is nowhere different. It is almost equal. But the only thing is that we need a package called XLSX. Okay, and we need to, we can always verify uh, whether that package is existing or not with us. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm necessarily reinstalling the package. Anyhow, I'm going to comment this one from now on. Why? Because this package is already installed in my computer. So it is showing true. So I have this existing. So data read.xlsx, abc.xlsx, sheet index one. So this is the one sheet index one, which is where I'm having some data. So it is going to print the same data. You can always observe here. See? abc.xls this is the one 
in this if you want to print the sheet 2 of the excel sheet it will show you only the sheet 2 data hmm? this is a sheet 1 data you can see this is the one which it, it has printed so this, is, this is how that you can make a connection okay now connection to the database guys i just want to mention here i have used the oracle database okay so as a part of it i already have the oracle database installed in my system and this is how that i could query my oracle database i can connect to oracle database something like this okay and i could connect to a schema called hr and i can see select a star from tab you could see the lot of tables inside this right so this is the these are the tables that i just want to explore here so connection of the database you always get it by taking a look at this one in the r programming language connect okay by looking up to this connect you already have a connection with the oracle here with all the necessary information okay by clicking on this one it is making a connection to the oracle database see it has connected it has showing it, it is showing us the hr database actually here hmm? you can do the reload see all the tables over here you can see the data sources okay if i just wanted to disconnect click on this part you wanted to disconnect yes i want to disconnect something like this if you just want a new script you can do it okay don't save so you can always create a new database connection every time if you want okay See, in order to make a new connection, you can always click on this one. It will open a different set of data sources. Okay. In order to connect to a one particular data source, you can always select the respective database. And you can see that by default, the connection information. You need to copy this connection information and you need to use the uh, make use of that connection information over here. Generally, we will be having a two different uh, libraries that you can use, you can make use in your programs. One is the DBA and another one is RODBC. Okay. So here is the RODBC. You can always try making a connection. So here I just wanted to make a library of RODBC and connection ODBC. Yet see ID. I mean user ID is HR and password is HR. And SQL query selects a start from employees. You can always select and execute this part. It is showing me the data. A true data which is there inside. And I can always get the information about the ODBC connection. And you can see the Oracle driver name and all stuff. Okay. And also you can see all the SQL tables regarding in the HR schema. See. Print. I need to print it, right? Print off tables. Okay. So. the data frame you can see that job id job jobs i just wanted to explore the table of jobs table okay and i just want to see all the columns 
hmm? all the columns of the table and i can always explore the select star from employees only salary hmm? i can always explore the salary from the hr at employees where salary greater than giving a condition likewise you can make a connection to any of the database from the r programming language and you can explore the, or you can retrieve the data okay all of you understand yes you do have the respective packages yes ashok you can always go ahead and check all those packages so if you do have any questions please let me know otherwise we will meet again tomorrow for visualizations part okay